So Paul in Florida, then we're going to you tag in Connecticut. Wow, Ben, thank you so much for taking the time. I learned so much from you today. You talked a lot about how, you know, we all have the ability and we should to share our story. Being that you've written multiple books, I'm working on writing mine this year, The Greatest Detour, The University of Adversity. What advice would you share with me from your experience of writing books? Like, if you wish you could go back and do it again, what would you do differently or what would you say? Well, so, you know, I, in terms of writing books, I mean, my first book was written in 2008. The Standard will be my eighth book, <clears throat> released August 1st. And I've run the gamut from self-published all the way to a contract with John Wiley and Sons for a book called Own Your Success from 2012. And so I've been everywhere uh, in between. Some advice that, that I got from John Gordon, who led me to Christ. It's one of the biggest mentors <clears throat> I've had in my life. I mean, I would say he's arguably the greatest author walking the face of the earth today. By the way, little plug for him, his Power of Positive Summit starts tomorrow. It's a free online event, thepositivesummit.com. There's 30 speakers that are part of that event. It's a blessing for me. It'll be the sixth time that I'm part of this Positive Summit, but it's totally free, all online. And what John always taught me, he said, you're never going to please everybody, so don't try to please everybody. And so whether you're writing a book or giving a speech, you have to be you, authentically you, share what's on your heart and know that you're never going to please everybody. So don't write this perfect speech. Like if you need to move or challenge somebody's mindset, know there's some people who might not like it and they might not have nice things to say about you, but there's other people that's exactly what they need to hear. And if you try to be some voice that's not authentically yours and tailor some weak message in between and it's not you, you're not going to get to where you want to get to with your message. So I think with your book, I think make sure that it's you. Don't worry about how many copies you sell of that book. <clears throat> Write the book for the right reasons. You know, far too many people call me. I do a lot of work for a lot of the online gurus and speakers and coaches behind the scenes. They come to me for advice and I get to coach them and people never even know I do that work. And so I think it's really important that, you know, whether it's one of them or whether it's you, that you share that right, right message that's authentically you. <clears throat> Thank you so much. It was an honor to learn from a legend today. I'm, I'm no legend, Paul. Those other pictures are, are legends. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to get there, but I appreciate it.